Hi again folks, Charles here again. What we're doing today is what we're going to call 5 gallon nursery juniper part 1. What I did was I decided to do a how to make a bonsai series and I went to the local nursery and bought a juniper in a 5 gallon pot and I've just started taking it out of the pot and cleaning up some of the undergrowth. What I found my original plan was to do a single trunk informal upright juniper, but what I found was that this thing has a far more interesting trunk structure underneath, so we may end up doing something a little bit different. And the reason I'm calling this part one is because there's way more to do here than what we can fit in a single five or ten minute video. So let's turn the turntable and look at the tree all the way around, and then we'll get started pruning and playing a little uh, game that I like to call Find the Buried Treasure. Well, the first thing I noticed is that it does have a nice central trunk in the middle and we'll see if we can do something with that, but this branch is too low to be useful for anything and so is this one, so we're going to take those out. Then there's a really well-developed trunk over to the side here, and I'm starting to think about whether we can do a three-trunk composition or something along those lines, but that's going to depend on what we have over here near my left hand. So we'll just continue the process of cleaning out undergrowth and weak trunks, and we'll figure out what we have going on over here. Every bonsai must have a front or a primary viewing angle and one of the things I'm doing when I'm pruning and cleaning is I'm thinking about what's going to be the front of the tree. Where are we going to view it from? Now we've got some small trunks over on this side and these don't appear to be useful very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another look at our main structure here and at this one here and look from this side and we'll see what we have. And it looks like all the interesting work is over here near my right hand. So let's do something a little bit drastic here. Let me take out this. And we'll take out a few more and then we'll clean things down. Okay, what we're doing here is we're just cleaning up undergrowth and we're going to continue with that process until we see something that looks like a bonsai. You may have noticed the tree's gotten a little tilted on the turntable. I haven't decided yet what the final planting angle is going to be, but when you're working on one of these, you do have the option of tilting it when you finally plant it. Now again, we've got some growth here that looks like it's coming off the base of the main trunk. And I don't think this is going to have any bearing in the final composition. So we'll continue chopping away until we reveal the bonsai within the tangle of roots and vegetation. Now I'm going to sit down and take another look at this. And I count one, two, three, four, five trunks. That's a bit many for this particular composition. So we're going to hold these up 
and start to get a look at what our composition might. Oops, okay. Well, that happens, unfortunately. And sometimes it changes your decision about what to do. And sometimes a branch that snaps can be saved. Now, in this case, I liked this one here, and I liked this one here. So we'll come back and we'll take another look at these.